14. Rob, how about this? Something you were saying right before we came on. 34 points in the second half for Lakers. That's right. the lowest point total That's of low. the year. That's low. That's low. Uh, very low. But you know, the thing about it is, I think, James, you and I had more energy in yeah. your James on Fire segment than the Lakers had all night. It, Might I say the James on Fire segment the pregame was. show was <laughs> Emmy Award winner. Hell yeah, we could have gone out there. Might and, just roll know. that tonight. Oh, uh, we but. should. <laughs> it's, but you got to think about this. This is the one time bad cop Rob is not going to come out because God, they've, been on a, they've been on a road trip. And it's hard during COVID. You know, you get a kind of little stymie. You can't leave the hotel. You can't do anything. You know, just, I can tell you, a little laziness kind of creeps in. And you, and you can't help it because you're just stuck in this hotel and not doing anything. So they don't have that energy and that, that effort. And they miss an AD. So yeah. there's a lot of things going against them tonight. So, I'm, you know, bad cop Rob is not even mad tonight. Big yeah, game? Two things. Yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's an embarrassing loss, obviously. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, two things. Every night is going to be a big night for whoever the Lakers are playing. Detroit, the worst record. But when the Lakers come to town, it's, it's, it's show and tell. It's time to show out on the them. Also, you have to realize, regardless of Detroit's record, they are still professional NBA players. You know, they got here by being really good. It's just not working out as a team and individually. You know, guys like Wayne Ellington. Uh, tonight hitting threes and and once they saw that the Lakers were going to let them hang around yeah that you know because I think most under underrated teams they wait for the big punch to knock them out that never happened and so Detroit felt like they could you know stay in the game they thought they could win Griffin hitting threes you know Plumley, you know exercising his 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 talent out there so uh, it's it's an ugly ugly loss but I agree with Rob, man. This is an unusual season coming out of the bubble into something else kind of messy. And I just think subconsciously, they probably thought they were going to beat the Pistons. Resting AD, thought they could get away with it. But uh, Detroit showed up to play tonight, and the Lakers couldn't overcome. I mean, that was a – we know that's not the Lakers. 34 points in the second half. And it, yeah, and interestingly not enough, in the fourth. big game. It mm -hmm. was kind of the way for me that second quarter and the Lakers were up 57-50. seemed to have some life. They're actually shooting a great percentage. They were shooting 60% yeah. from three, nine of 15 at the time. And then missed a, missed a bunny and, and Pistons went on a 6-0 run and, and that game kind of changed in that last minute and the Pistons came out on fire. And the Lakers from that point on only made two threes the rest of the game. I mean, Wayne Ellington and, and Blake Griffin had 11 threes between them. Yeah. Lakers as a team had 12. Um, and just the 34 points in the second half. You know, it's, it's interesting. It was 87-88 with eight minutes and 40 seconds left in that fourth quarter. THD hit a three. The Lakers didn't score again for what seemed like two hours. I know. It was seven minutes. And in that time, the Pistons went on a 14-0 run. And I think we're just used to LeBron doing what he does every single fourth quarter. He only had two points in the second half. He had zero in the fourth. Yeah, the thing about it is we realize... It's got to be other people. Yeah, yeah, LeBron is human. And sometimes when you have nights like this, James said it earlier, you got to go to that bench. You got THT who can come with some energy. You got Trez. You got all these guys that can come with some energy because your big dog, LeBron, has more years. He, pretty much he has more playoff games than anybody on that team has games. So mm -hmm. you got to say, he's going to have those nights where he just didn't have it or just <clears throat> doesn't have it. And you have to go to the bench. You can't be afraid. As a coach, I, don't, I wouldn't want to be in this position because how do you tell one of the best players that ever played this game, go sit down? It's hard because, you know, he has a competitive spirit. He wants to be out there. But sometimes you, you got to go to your, the other guys. Those guys can come with it and bring a little yeah. energy and rest a little more. So I think this is one of those nights where you really needed your bench. But I think it's hard as a coach. Like, when do you think that time is, right? I mean, LeBron's been so good in the fourth quarters. You're, not, you're, you're starting him in the fourth, right? You got to roll the dice. He 14 man. in the first quarter. <laughs> you got uh, to roll the dice and say, okay, LeBron, yeah. what do you think? Well, what about THT? And, and, and we saw Kuz tonight get the start for AD, and he had 22. We talk a lot about Kuz when he does get the start and he gets the shot attempts. Last night it's four. Tonight it's 17. He ends up with 22 points. It's, it's simple math, right? Uh, THT getting some run. James, I, I'm telling you, man, it, you watch this kid play, and I know we've talked a lot about it. He's got something, and everyone knows it. And he's 20 years old. He is knocking on the door for more minutes. Yeah. Yeah, someone in that rotation tonight ahead would have of him the, better be looking. Tonight would have been the night I would have played him thirty plus. Yeah, he had that energy you know, going tonight. My college coach, and I don't know if Rob's did it, but every now and then when the starters weren't weren't playing well, he took the whole starting five out 
and put in a blue team, what he called a blue team. Mm-hmm. And he just let him play for three or four minutes, you know, pass the ball, play hard defense, then he let the guys go back in. So I agree with that, that, the, the, that yeah. he should go to the bench. Uh, but Tucker, you know, it's going to be hard not to play him uh, because he really does come in the game, and he's a game changer because he can score, uh, he can defend, he can knock down the three. So, yeah, uh, he's a player that's, you know, I don't, I'm don't. i sure he's getting it done in practice yeah. when they get to practice, but he's the man in minutes. You know, he, he reminds me of, he's, he reminds me of this guy I played with back in 98, 99. He had all this energy, but Dale Harris was, Dale Harris was holding him back. And he just, when he got that, he was just putting up numbers. Talking about Kobe Bryant. And I'm not saying he is going to be Kobe Bryant, he's, but he reminds me of this guy that, that's young, has a lot of talent, but the coaches are seemingly holding him back. But when they do let him out, he does these extraordinary things, and he goes out and plays extremely well. So, and I know it's hard because you're looking down that line, like, who, whose minutes does he take? Yeah. It's, you know, you, Wes, what do you do? Yeah, that, but you got to, I think you just got to sometimes let the young fella go out there and play and, and let him learn because if you really think about it, he's not making any mistakes. Yeah. He's going to the hole, he's scoring easily, he's getting to the free throw line, and there's nothing he's doing wrong but being young. That's yeah. the only thing. Yeah, and listen, on a regular night, Frank's got decisions. There's 11 guys yeah. that he can play. He's, yeah. doing a, he's doing a great job of getting everyone in. It's, it's yeah. hard, It's man. hard, He's got to recognize, you know, I think, you know, a, a coach's job is hard. You know, yeah. if a guy's in a slump, you want to allow him to, to get out of it. But like, I thought like tonight, like Pope was not there mentally. He was frustrated. He had that, that file, that flagrant file. He wasn't getting the calls that he thought he could get, and he got frustrated. That would have been a time I would have said, look, Tucker, go get him, make something happen, give him some minutes. You got to it's, – it's a hard thing to do. Yeah. But you got to – you know, I saw that Pope wasn't really, you know, himself. And so – I, I, it's it's hard, but Tucker's got to play. He's one of those players that's on the bench that you can't say he's young. We got him in development stage. No, he's ready now. He's ready. Yeah. I always appreciate uh, LeBron's ability to play every single night. Uh, his his minutes the last three nights: thirty nine, thirty eight, thirty six. It's a lot. He was playing twenty nine, thirty. <laughs> It's a lot of minutes. Yeah. Right? It's a, it's a lot of minutes. And that's uh, where your bench has to come through. You have and other it, players got to pick up the score. Yeah, you and plus, you, you also, as a coach, you, you have someone sitting there and telling you the minutes. And yeah. you have to be big enough to go, LeBron says, dude, you over your limit. Go sit yeah. down. And th- th- that's important. I think LeBron also has to understand that it's the, it's, it's the journey, not the sprint they're doing right now. I, I want to ask you guys this before we get to the highlights. Something that was just glaring tonight. There's no AD, right? So, we talk about the lack of rim protection. Only one block tonight, only two steals tonight. And, and when you're a Pistons team and you see no AD and you see what the Lakers are, the size, you, you attack. Yeah, totally affected them on, on both yeah. ends both of the ends. court. Yeah. Uh, on defense, they had no fear. I mean, Marcus is not a, a shot blocker, neither is Trez. We had no uh, shot blockers tonight. So they felt very comfortable on the defensive end uh, going to the cup. On the offensive end, we didn't have that that extra distraction that would collapse the defense. And we-